Hello, in this video we're going to look at the new 3D bevel edge profile machining strategy that's used for making more interesting lettering. Let's create a new file, 20 inches square, 1 inch thick, origin bottom left hand corner, Z0 on the surface. Click OK. Let's add some text or a character, so we'll add the capital A, select a font, I want this to be in the centre of our material, apply, let's make this a bold character, so reapply and close. Here we have lots of sharp external corners, also sharp internal corners. We swap to the machining tab, check the material, so one inch thick, retract our eighth of an inch. The bevel edged chamfering is done using a profiling toolpath. So we're going to put a bevel on that's 0.3 of an inch deep. We're going to run around with a 90 degree uh, inch and a quarter diameter V bit. Run around the outside. We don't need tabs because we're just putting the chamfer on. We want, if we leave the two options off for a moment, we call this chamfer and calculate if we preview the results if we twiddle with the left mouse button push and pull the right mouse button you'll see that the results aren't correct we have rounded external corners also rounded internal corners so if we double click to edit this toolpath set sharp external sharp internal calculate reset now we have the little lifts or the little tails where the cutter will be lifted to create the sharp internal corners and the cutter we get square external corners. So now if we preview we have a much more interesting and a better result. So sharp internal, sharp external. Next we want to cut the letter out so we use another profiling toolpath all the way through one inch material. This time we'll use quarter inch end mill. Again we're going to go on the outside. We need to use the allowance that was calculated for the bevel edge which was 0.3 of an inch and we could add tabs if we wanted to to hold the piece in part but we won't do it for this letter and we want sharp external corners. We'll call this cut out, calculate the toolpath, preview. You'll see now that that toolpath has cut all the way through but we've retained the square external corners. So we have a very interesting letter A with a chamfer that runs all the way around the outer edge of the letter. Thank you for watching the tutorial.